This is Mary at the Marriott TA, and I started this envelope in my Friday night live stream to go along with the giveaway of my December journals that Susan Gerald won. So this is, of course, done with the fine line paint applicator, and I'm going to finish the other side. So what I have to do first is paint it black and dry it off. So I'm going to do that right now. And then I'm going to use my fine line paint applicator. And we are going to do another side, which will be the address portion. So I'm just going to get started on this. If I put a thin coat of paint on here. Let me get the paint plug out of it. If I put a thin coat of paint on the envelope, I find that it dries a lot faster than if I plaster it with paint, which makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? So let's do that. I'd like to get this finished so that I can send it off in, uh, on the mail on Monday so that she can get this by December 1st if she wants to work on December. But she doesn't have to. If she doesn't want to, she can do something else with it. It's it's her. It will be hers once it leaves my house. It will go to her. It will be her art journal. The only thing I ask that she does not do, and that's destroy it. I mean, burn it or throw it in the trash or something like that. If she doesn't want it, she can give it away, gift it, send it in happy mail. Send it to the thrift store. Whatever she wants to do with it, it will be hers. So let's go ahead and give this a dry. Oh, I see where I got a little. Won't take long. I am doing this video unlisted stream. And when I'm finished, I will review it, and if it's okay, I will set it to go public. It's just a lot easier to do something like this in an unlisted stream, and uh, rather than trying to create a video and edit it and all of that and then upload it, this is a much easier option. It's like a live stream, only... I don't have chat on and I can concentrate on the art. So here's what the envelope will look like on the portion that will have the address. There's a little bit of the tree or the trim, but that's okay. That will that will be perfectly okay. Now I'm thinking that I'll take some temporary masking tape here and put that flat down. Let's see if this works. I really haven't done that before with the envelopes that I paint. But if I do that, it might help me it might help me paint that flap a little bit better. Let's see if I can do that. And it won't matter if it pulls up some paint from under here because that's going to be glued down anyway. So let's just temporarily put that down. Oh, yeah. Okay, well, this is dry. It's dry enough to work on. It's got a couple little on the edges. I'm always having to touch that stuff up. Let's give that a dry. just so I don't put my hand in it. <laughs> All right. 
So I am using a fine line paint applicator. I get these at Hobby Lobby in the model car department. It's put out by, well, fine line paint applicator. FineLinePaintApplicator.com, I think it is, but you can, I think you can get these on Amazon too. If you get the yellow or orange cap, it's an 18 gauge standard tip. If you get a blue cap, it's a 20 gauge fine tip. It's a little bit smaller. I like the 18 gauge because I put the craft paint, I'm just using Apple Barrel craft paint, and I put it from the bottle directly into the applicator with no water, no medium, nothing to dilute it. Okay, since this is the address portion, I'm going to start out with a little spot up here in the top for the return address. And a little spot in here for the addressee. Okay, and then I'm just going to go in there, and I've been doing, I won't say that I'm going to do these tatted designs on all the envelopes that I send out. I'm, I may do another type of uh, design on the envelope. We'll see. We will see as I work. But I just make these little, I call this my tatted borders, my tatted designs. And I just kind of follow through here. We'll give this a nice little border. I did take the set that I did for Lucia and Cheryl and Carla to the post office and yeah, the postal clerk said, oh, these are pretty. <laughs> and, you know, if I slow down... Sometimes I get to going too fast on these, and uh, I forget what I'm doing. <laughs> My mind wanders. So even on something simple, I have to think about it just a little. But basically all I'm doing are little figure eights to make my little tatted flowers. Now... Since this is the address portion, I'm not going to make it the Christmas trees and all that on the front. But what I've been doing, and since this is, let's see, since this is the flap, I think I'll put smaller tats in here if I can. And you'll see why in a moment. And they look kind of, they look kind of scribbly now, but just wait until it's done. Oops, I went off the edge there okay because what i want to do in here is i want to bring the the little flourish in here that i like to do and one big one in here oops and, and then let's put some something like that and i like to do that on both corners here. This one will be a little bit smaller unless I 
bend the brewery a little bit. There we go. And never fear, there's always, it always turns out in the end. Let's put a little tatting in here. There we go. Now, what do I want to do in here? Do I want to... Uh, I think what I'll do is bring it down this way. With my tatting. I think that's what I did on the others. I sent the others off, so I can't use them as a model. I have to... I have to go on my own. What did I do? <laughs> I want kind of a flap in here. And you'll see what I mean in a minute. Like an envelope flap. Like that. And we'll just keep going in here with these. These are so delightful to do. It just, you sit down and you get to doing them and in no time you're finished. There we go. And I think I'll carry my dots. I have dots on the other side on the borders, and I think I'm going to carry them around over here uh, along the edges. Just little white dots. It helps frame the page visually. And you're seeing this in real time. I'm not going to download it and speed it up. No, I'm just going to... It's just going to show what I'm doing. I would zoom in a little bit more, but then it you only see a portion of the envelope. I want you to see the entire envelope. It really does not take a long time to do these. Once you get started, you kind of know where you're going if you've done this same thing before. Like this is the fourth envelope that I've done. This is not a padded envelope. And I'm hoping that my journal will be okay sent in an unpadded envelope. I'm hoping that the mail will not be mean to it. <laughs> I am busy working on my channel in the background. Um, these new COPPA um, rules, of course, I'm reviewing all my videos. But I'm also, I'm also kind of giving my channel, uh, looking at all the old, not watching all the old videos, but looking at them and and uh, reviewing them and making a list and checking it twice and um, keeping track of when I published it. 
it's taken me a little bit of time, but I think in the long run, it will be good for me to have that, especially if something happens to my channel. And of course, now I'm downloading all my videos so that I have a backup copy of them, which I should have been doing anyway. Uh, I, it kind of fell by the wayside in, in the stream of everything else I was doing. But now is the time to do that and to keep up with it with each new upload or each new uh, page of uploads. Each new set of uploads. And of course, with the live streams, you have to download them. There we go. Okay. I'm pretty happy with that for now. I, I think I will put some, let's put some dots in here just to set the address portion off. There we go. I like that. And I think I want to put uh, I want to put something more in that flap, but I don't really have room for more. Uh, I, I'm wondering. I think I'm going to put big. Yeah, let's put big dots in there between the flowers. Every place where there's an open spot. Because that will help differentiate the flap from the body. And I'm going to do more to the body here too in a moment. See how fast this has worked up? I've only been going, what, under 20 minutes? Between 20 minutes and a half an hour? And I am almost finished with this. Not quite. I still got a few more things to do on it. But it has worked up pretty fast. There we go. I'll just put some in here. They're just big dots. They're not the little dots. They're the big ones. Yeah. Now, on the body of this, I could leave it blank. But uh, I think I'm going to put my diagonals in there because... I, well, let's put the big dots in here, too. Let's put big dots in here. Doesn't take long. And if you keep your fine line paint applicator, if you keep that clean, it works pretty good. I had to give all of these. It seemed like all summer I was having trouble with them. And... And I gave them all, all of my paint applicators. I took all the paint out of them. And you can soak the body of this in your Murphy's Oil Soap. But do not soak the tip of them in there, the nozzle portion. It, uh, it somehow loosens the glue, the glue or that holds or whatever it is that holds these little nozzles in. I wrecked two or three of them that way. Okay, now I'm going to do the, the diagonals. 
and I'm just going to draw diagonals across here. If you've been watching my streams, you've been seeing me do this. This is not the first time I've done this. And I generally do not put diagonals in the flourish part, but I might put, a, put them in here this time and maybe make these flourishes a little bit thicker. And I'm hoping that the uh, varnish, I'm going to ask the gals who received my first set if the varnish helped the paint, to keep the paint from chipping. There we go. Now let's continue with the diagonals in here. And let's go ahead and make these lines thicker. And I get a thicker line if I press just a little bit harder on the, the applicator bottle. It sends a more of a steady flow of paint. Well, it's steady. I guess that's the best way to describe it. I just, I get a bigger, thicker line if I press harder on the bottle. And I'm just drawing some diagonal lines. Now, let's see, I don't go up that way. Oops. A few diagonals in here. There we go. Now I come back this way, and the thing about coming back over these lines is my paint from these lines going up this way is still wet. So when I come down this way, I'm dragging that nozzle through wet paint, and it does build up a little on my nozzle. So I try to keep that clean. Of course, now, if you clean it off in your fingers, be careful where you put your fingers. <laughs> oh, dear. So I get kind of this diamond pattern in the background, kind of a lattice work, which I really like. Yeah. And I'm trying to imagine where these lines would go if I come down that way, kind of in there. See, I drug it through there. I just kind of wipe it. I've got a towel up above here that. And it doesn't have to be perfectly even. I mean, your eye kind of, if you sit and study it, I imagine you could see how uneven it is. Like right there, I kind of really made it uneven. <laughs> but. Um, your eye kind of corrects everything in here. Like it's really uneven in there, but maybe that's where um, it got bent during somebody trying to crawl in or banging up against it or something. Uh, thinking that it's a lattice work. Can I put my finger there? Yeah. there. Now, 
I'm liking this a lot. I'll be putting address labels in here. But what I like to do now is this is the last thing I'll be doing is I put four little dots in the corners where these four triangles meet. I just put, and I get a little sloppy sometimes, but I try I'm I'm trying to keep them pretty close to the corner. Sometimes I, I get a little tired of doing it and they float down in the middle of the diamond. But they they look the best if you can keep them right there at the corner, right there at the intersecting point. On, and then put a dot in each little corner of each little diamond. And up here probably just let it go in here. And it gets a little, you, if you like to doodle or zentangle, that type of thing. Uh, and if you like to paint, if you like to use your paint pens, you could do this same type of thing that I'm doing on the envelope here with markers or paint pens. You don't have to use a fine line paint applicator. It's just what I like to use. I love it because it... Uh, it gives a certain texture to the envelopes, especially with the white paint. And it just, it, it looks like little florals meeting at the corners of all these little triangles. I missed one up here. I try to get them in all, but I, you know, you do, you do miss them. Your eye starts <laughs> blending them all in at one point. It makes it very elegant, very lacy. I just sit here and I have more fun. I have more, uh, more, I have a really good time just sitting here and doing this. And sometimes my mind wanders. I think about what I have, what else I have going on, what I need to get done. All of those type of things. Okay, let's turn it around this way. I can get to these better. Do this side. Let's do this side.
Mm. I'm not really saying anything. I'm actually thinking about Coppa or Copa or however you want to pronounce it. Thinking about what I'm doing on my own channel, which is largely transparent to you and will be for a little bit. Um, you'll see, well, I'm hoping my channel survives next year, into next year, and you'll probably see some different things going on as far as visual appearance of my channel. I'm hoping. I'm still working that out. But I am working on it. And I'm pretty well caught up in my uh, November Jam Journal. I have today's to do. I think I have the 24th, but I mean the 22nd done. I don't think I have the 23rd finished. Okay. Did I miss any? I see a few in here I missed. Mm -hmm. So let's turn it this way. I don't think there's much more that I want to do to this. I think I'm pretty happy with it. Let me just kind of wipe the nozzle of my applicator off. And I could put some big dots in the on the ends of these flourishes just to some of them are pretty big anyway maybe on the ends of these yeah. I'm pretty happy with it all I'm pretty happy with it now, I would show you the other side, but you saw it at the beginning. And I'm just going to let this dry. I'm going to let it dry overnight. And then tomorrow, I'm going to varnish both sides. And then Monday, it will be ready to mail out. So thank you for watching, and I will see you on the next page.